peace and love. Zero, zero, zero on the clock. Sending you all positive energy, high vibes, success on your entrepreneurship, all love, all positivity. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hit the like button and you leave me any comments or any questions in my description below. 21 on the clock. Today, I'm going to be speaking about a very beautiful and powerful Orisha by the name Oshun. Now, Oshun is connected to African descent practice. Also connected with Ifa tribe. Now, all nationalities can be able to harness the great powers of Oshun. Oshun stood for fertility, wealth, beauty, love, magical, mystical, <laughs> high vibrating energy. So, divine feminine can tap into and harness that beauty, that love. Also, water magic as well. Now, Oshun story goes like this. <laughs> Oshun had men that was drawn to her. She was able to entice them, manipulate them by her beauty. She had an hourglass body. She had a beautiful smile. She was always dripping in diamonds and gold. Very flashy. She loved the color yellow. Also gold and also diamonds. Okay. She was known to have lips sweet as honey. So the men was head over heels for Oshun. She also tapped into the sensuality energy. She loved to explore different people and tap into sexuality. She liked to be stimulated in different areas. So she was exploring herself by those five senses. She remind me of the energy of Sagittarius. They love that expansion. They love to add on things. And they love individuals to stimulate them in every part of their being. For an example, they look for individuals to stimulate them mentally. And also, they can look for individuals that stimulate them in being happy, adventuring with them, and traveling with them. They just look for different aspects of the being to be stimulated by different people. So they love to explore, and they love variety. And it's just the type of energy they hold, okay? Now, also, Oshun, <laughs> she was known to be connected with the peacock energy. Because as we looked at the eyes of the peacock, it was symbolic to how many sexual encounters she had with individuals because she had heavy fertility. So once she connected with different individuals, she also had babies. And she gave the babies to the mom because she was so busy being wow and free spirited she just held that type of energy okay and we can all harness the energy of Oshun in a great way okay I always connect with the energy of being non-judgmental and having the understanding of accepting individuals for who they are okay I love to see individuals <laughs> express themselves and their true divinity of whatever it is. You know, I love for a person to just show exactly who they are instead of hiding it. Okay. And once we have the understanding to view individuals with a bird's eye view 
and say, well, they doing this, but that's their true character. That's who they are. That's fulfilling to them. And that's okay. Okay. So, Oshun was connected with Shango. Now, she ended up falling head over heels for Shango. And Shango was known to be a playboy. <laughs> he had a lot of divine feminine energy that was drawn to him. He was known to be mystical, powerful, very confident in himself. He knew he was fine. <laughs> Just like Oshun, she knew she was fine. And they had varieties. Five, five, five that they can pick from if they wanted to pick. Okay, and I always say that we have to have a balanced ego to have confidence in ourselves. And I say that when I see a guy that's attractive to me, <laughs> I'll be like, he know he fat. <laughs> And I'll be saying ancestors, ancestors, y'all know I'm y'all know I'm telling the truth. I just gotta tell the truth. Excuse me, but <laughs> so once we have the overstanding to harness the energy of the ancient ancestors, the allegories that was before us, it helps us to perceive a higher level of consciousness and it helps us to navigate through many dimensions and it helps us on our paths with our rituals with our guidance with our self-esteem you know and in ancient Kemet they use the term as once we speak one name we make them live again okay and this goes for all nationalities okay once we have the understanding of the ancient origins and we start to honor the ancestors it puts us in perfect alignment with the center the harmonizing field and also it guides us with our five senses to greatness and it helps us on our journey okay so once we have the overstanding of the different orishas we can actually set up an altar honor the ancient ancestors so we can make them live again by perceiving a higher level of consciousness and knowing their role on the planet okay always be familiar with that so Oshun, like I said, she fell head over heels for Shango. But Shango treated Oshun like every other woman. Okay? Other, excuse me, every other woman that he had. Okay? Because he's a playboy. So, Oshun ended up being broken hearted from that. So, she ended up running off to the moon. Now, every time Oshun had problems, she ran from her problems. So, once she ran, the men started going crazy because she used to use her energy of dance, also beauty, and her touch to heal men. She uplifted them. She made them feel powerful and loved okay so once she did that <laughs> they was like no they created chaos they like oh no 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 we need Oshun back you know we need our honey she's sweet as honey we need her back so Oshun end up going back okay when she went back she decided to try to get her children back and try to tap into the divine feminine energy of being a nourisher and taking care of her youth. But her mom, she didn't trust Oshun with the babies because her mother wasn't used to Oshun tapping into that divine feminine energy. She was used to her being wild, young, and just free-spirited. 
you know so the mom didn't want to give up the kids so Oshun ended up getting her heart broken again once she got her heart broken again she ended up running to the sun now when she ran to the sun she ended up getting burnt up stripped from all her beauty her hair had burnt out and fell out really bad and she ended up getting a low self-esteem and then she started to clean herself up she started to put on different wigs makeup and tap into that divine feminine energy of beauty and also nourish her and heal her she started to be more loving and nourishing to her children she started to take care of earth cleaning up the earth and she didn't seek for those pleasures that she used to seek for anymore okay she ended up having that transformation from going through that sun and experiencing the not so good and it was basically like she had death and she ended up being reborn again and she became better for her highest good and also for humanity okay I always be familiar with that so Oshun is known to be even used in movies like the heart of night also um, they had a scene in color purple they said the lady lips were sweet as honey referring to Oshun also Beyonce um, is known to be the daughter of Oshun we have many divine feminine energies that have heavy fertility and they are unaware that they are Oshun daughters okay and once we embody that energy it's great for us to be able to tap in and see what can we add on out of the allegory of Oshun to help us to vibrate on a high frequency of love okay so we can add Oshun to our altars by getting raw honey she's very pacific she likes the honey to be raw also we can get some small baby dolls because she has the energy of heavy fertility with peacocks and add them to the altar she also is connected with the heavy water energy so we can go to rivers lakes also oceans and also take the water out of the faucets and connect with water magic with ocean she also loves sunflowers so we can add sunflowers to our rituals also we can add the color candles of yellow gold and I always say if we don't find the yellow or the gold we can always use white for purification and clarity we can add sprinkles of gold or also sprinkles of yellow okay and we can also tap into the energy of dance because she was known to draw divine masculine in by her dance moves and beauty okay so we can take on a ritual a very powerful ritual of dance and put on a tune of Oshun it's on YouTube we can tap in Oshun music and it'll come on and it'll help us to harness that powerful energy of Oshun her favorite number is five <laughs> and like I said her colors is yellow gold also diamonds and you also can add sweet oranges to your rituals as well okay I'll always be familiar with that and we can harness the energy of Oshun to have a balanced ego to have confidence in ourselves okay to have that divine feminine energy of nourisher of healer of procreation 
also we can also bring babies in by harnessing the power of Oshun because she's connected with heavy fertility. I always be familiar with that. Ooh, my ring just flew all over the other side. <laughs> so I love you all. 15, 15 on the clock. I'm sending you all positive energy and high vibes. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You hit the like button. You leave me any comments or any questions in my description below. And if you have any requests of any angel numbers or any netters, gods or goddesses you'll like for me to do the stories, I sure will. I love you all and I'll be back with more. Peace and love. I love you.